how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can fix NVIDIA app not opening all kind of issues with NVIDIA app because I'm going to be going through five simple fixes in this video and I hope it helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, so the first method that we are going to be talking about is clean installation of your gpu drivers this is the method that works out for almost everyone so for that what you can do is go to the link in the description below and install the nvidia app error fix pack this pack only contains a ddu that helps you to uninstall your display drivers what you guys have to do is once you download this go watch my video that i'm going to be pinning on the screen and in the description below watch that guide completely to clean install your graphic card drivers once that is done head over over to this folder that is nvidia gpu optimization and you'll find in two registries over here first one is a disable gpu power saving some of the times power saving features can stop applications controlling the gpu and this might cause the crashing of your app and to fix that you guys have to run the disable gpu power saving registry right over here second is use the hardware gpu this is when you have an integrated gpu on your processor and you also have a hardware gpu that if install on your pc some of the times this integrated gpu is powering your display and if not it is still utilized whenever you are rendering your games to fix that you guys have to run this registry and it will prioritize your hardware gpu and disable your integrated gpu completely this makes it easy for the application to recognize your graphic card and load it up correctly well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark there are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it you will get an email within minutes and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out gvg mall links are in the description below if this doesn't fix your problem here is method number two that is service optimization and for that open up services on your pc and once you're here press n on your keyboard and then you'll find nvidia display container nvidia frame view sdk and nvidia local system container you have to make sure that all of these three services are running and if any of them is not running you have to right click and then click on start option over here any of these services disabled can be a cause of the crashing of our application and if that fixes it voila now if these two methods doesn't worked out well the third option is cleaning your temporary files and reinstalling your application Majority of the times your temporary files might cause your application to crash and for that press windows and R key on your keyboard and then type in percentage temp percentage. Head over to this folder and then select all files, press shift and delete key on your keyboard and simply press on yes. This will start deleting all temporary files on your PC and some of them cannot be deleted so kindly skip them. This will help you to improve your PC's performance as well as fix the crashing of your nvidia app if that still didn't work out for you the next two steps are the sure shot method fourth step is right in the windows settings over here for that you have to open up settings on your pc and then go down to system majority of the times nvidia app cannot be opened because of the incorrect notification settings so for that head over to notifications and then click on enable to enable notifications on your pc and then try reopening the application if that still doesn't work out the fifth method is right in the windows update that is recovering your windows 
settings and this has worked out for me personally so once you're in the windows update section go over to advanced options and then click on recovery over here you'll find something called fix problems using windows update and this will reinstall your current version of windows and your apps files and settings will be preserved that means you will not lose anything it will only reinstall your windows and if you have any corrupted partitions or any corrupted disk segments anything that might go wrong while you're installing your nvidia app this will fix every single one of that simply click on reinstall now and then you have to head over to windows update and then you guys can see your windows 11 or your windows 10 will be reinstalling over here you have to simply restart your pc after that and it will reinstall your windows once that is done you guys will have all of your changed issues back to normal once you have reinstalled your windows over here simply install nvidia app on your pc and then open this thing up once you're over here you guys can see that the application is running correctly once again i would recommend you guys to head over to the drivers section over here and then reinstall your game ready drivers this won't impact anything but it is always good to make sure that nothing is corrupted from your nvidia geforce experience to nvidia app once again i will be covering the best graphic settings and app settings over here in the next video so make sure to subscribe to the channel also if you guys are facing any kind of issues we have a reddit community r slash bear fox you guys can look it up on reddit or you guys can go through the link in the description below you guys can post your queries you guys can post your pc builds any upcoming game or already existing game issues fps issues or whatever we are trying to build a big community that includes everything from gossips to optimizations and whatnot. Go check out r slash bearfox from the link in the description below. And that is it for this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments and we'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bearfox and peace out.